The raven brings on darkness of night. Is this loud? It's like, hang on. Hi there. What I have here is 15 inch Peisty 505 medium hi-hats. I think the closest you can get, well, they don't make them anymore, to a giant beat sounding, original giant beat that is. That, that's a, that's like a, now my rock and roll is terrible. See, I shouldn't do this myself now because it sounds so bad, but. Um, I gotta get my, I gotta get my left hand up and running. I got a SM7B, a Shure microphone, which will be coming down the pipeline. I have to get another cord. I have my new system. I have a new Scarlett instead of the 2i2 or whatever. I have now like the 18i2 or the 9 or something. And I also finally unboxed my Presonus Eureka uh, transformer coupled preamp, compressor, and parametric equalizer. I hope that stair, can I get two out of that or is it one do you think? Guess the input's on the back. All right, so what should we do? Here I am on my What I have up here at my Peisty 2002, original 2002 black label medium, this is about 1,470 grams, and this guy is a reissue from one of the earliest reissues, I think it's 90s. Um, I remember in a magazine years ago, it wasn't Modern Drummer, but it was when Ludwig, Ludwig started making the Visalites again. Of course, they went with clear first, and eventually they made the, the bottom one, but there was one they were giving away, um, the kit Ludwig was, and Peisty, Peisty might have offered it with the package, a reissue set. And I think at the time, it was a 24 ride, 2002, 15 inch, 15 inch sound, ah, 15 inch soundage hats. My nipple. Um, 18 inch medium, 18 inch ride and 20 inch medium, okay? Now you got the 18 inch ride as a crash later, okay? If you really want the Zeppelin, like the classic, you know, 72, 73, 75, 77, get yourself an 18 inch medium and a 20 inch medium original spec. Nowadays, the eight, uh, will do the medium. Uh, in the old, I would say the crash models will do now. All right, so what do we have here? Let me get this up. So I'm on my Octoply, six, eight, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15. So here we go, I'll just play a little. Okay, I'm gonna compose a song right now live on the air. <laughs> No. Let's do a whoa, whoa. All right, this is like when you hear that whoa, whoa. That's like a guitar. Whoa, like it was almost like um, a little bit of the uh, Peter Frampton y um, Joe Walsh, like the hose, like whoa, 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 right? But so like. So I'm, anyway, so I'm in the process of making stuff. Remember, I'm recording songs with Ty Bear. Um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. And I have, again, I'm, I'm working on some original stuff here. I'm getting, I'm upgrading my system. Uh, wait, what else was I gonna do? Um, yes, 
Yeah, the 15 inch 505 medium hi hats. Remember, in my experience, the 505 medium hi hats are golden. The heavies are okay. I mean, they're not bad, they're, but the medium hi hat mile 505, you don't see them much anymore. Occasionally now, you'll see some 14 inch mediums pop up. Like I just bought these from my main man at um, Mike's Drums in Villa Park, Illinois. God, I don't have my shirt on today. I normally do. Um, so that's it, the 505s. Out of oh, I know what I wanted to do. So check this out. Let me know which one of these crashes you prefer. I'm taking off my reissue Black Label 2002 medium with the actual rubber stamp thingy, not the embossed thingy. But what I'm gonna put up here Is this? This is a Color Sound 5 from 1984, the first year they came out. Color Sound 5 Peisty 18 inch crash. It was red. I took off the paint. And what you have here, what they used to use, I don't, in the Color Sound 900s they make now, this doesn't apply. But on all the other Color Sounds they made, everyone I've seen, they employ the 2002 lathing. Um, except for under the bell, which sort of looks 602 ish, you know what I mean? So, what this is though, this baby is about 1430 grams, 1984. But it's essentially because it's a color sound, they use the giant beat bell, okay? So, you can see that. Do you see that? See the giant beat bell? And then here's the 2002 bell. 2002 bell, they want to make the sound, you know, they just essentially changed, I think, what they more or less did. Eric Pisces might malfunction when he hears me say this. But is to put another lathing on top of the original Giant Beat, which is like wider, thinner, thinner, wider, which they use later, of course, in the 2000s and the 3000s. Before they went to the ribbon lathing, you'd see in the two. There were some early 2000s and 3000s. Oh, that feels good on my nipple. There were some 2000s, early 2000s, 3086. And then a little after they did that, they started employing the ribbon lathing. You know what I mean? It goes around, but it kind of goes like, like that kind of. So we're putting this up. 2002 traditional. Uh, this one is 1470. This one's about 1430. Okay, let's hear the 2002 first. And then now the essentially 2002 lathed original giant beat. You can hear the difference there. Generally, the reason why they use bigger cups is that's why in the Rude, if you look at the Peisty Rude now, they have the original, the giant beat sized cups. They do. If I took a right now, if I went to the store and bought an 18 inch Rude off the shelf, I would pop directly into this symbol or an original giant beat or a Peisty two, or a 2000 or a, the whole package. All right, so let's do a... Does that? This is what I think Bonham's doing, especially in Heartbreaker. Oh, oh, oh. Now listen to that. There's ghost notes, right? But check this out. I think some fall at the same time as the bass drum. See, that's where the Bonham engine will help you. Bonham engine. Bonham engine. That sliver right out of my finger from the stick. Bonham engine, patented here. Terry Keating. Bond's Oleum channel, probably almost a good 10 years ago. But the bottom engine, remember? Right foot, right arm alternating. Right arm, left arm alternating. Left arm, left foot alternating. Therefore, the right arm and the left foot are hitting at the same time. Left arm, right foot hitting at the same time. Okay, but so what happens is... Whoa. 
But the important thing really is this. Hear that? It's like... Right? See, that's the Bonham swing. Bonham, indeed, was the swing king. They had 5,000 pink flamingos on their front lawn. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving you here from Bonzolium Studios. <laughs>